Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this morning I was checking out the auction house and I learned that the uh, Elemental Earth have raised up to 3 gold each. Therefore I decided to go and farm some in, first of all, Badlands and Aratio Highlands later on. So let's get right into it. As you can see here I am in the uh, left lower corner of the uh, Badlands area. And I'm farming these uh, elemental earth here. They are around level 43, 44. And they're very, very easy to kill. You can stack them up easily, kill them one by one, whatever, depending on the class you are. Also, another thing I quickly learned here is that the areas are kind of contested. Sometimes more than others, but you might have to fight for your elemental earth here. So be, pre be prepared to, to go into some PvP action as well when you go here. So when I decided to farm here in Badlands, I did that because I knew there was four really really good spots south on the map. And uh, they're really really close to each other. That means you can just move back and forth between the spots. Whenever you clear that one spot, you can just move to the other one fast and clear that spot and move back again. So you always have something to kill and you maximize your farming. And if you're doing that, that also means that uh, your bags will get full really really fast of all the trash items and such. But don't throw it away because there is a vendor really really close you can move to and believe it or not but these trash items actually sell for a lot. When you're here you should probably also save all the solid stones because they're used for engineering for goblin sabre charges as well and other stuff in engineering. So. If you have solid stone, save them. You can also auction house them. On my server, they are for, they sell for two gold right now for a stack. So that's another two gold easily. And they drop a lot by these mobs. So easy way to make some gold if you're low level as well. And as I mentioned, there is some PvP action here every now and then, so you have to defend your territory, so to say. So, you can either be the nice guy and try not to kill them, but in my opinion, you should probably kill the, the opposite faction before they decide to turn on you. So as you can see, I cleared out this area for now and therefore I decided to move on to the next one so I can keep on killing some mobs and let my gold power uh, stay high. So as you can see, I'm just scouting for the last few elementals should I have missed any, but since I didn't, I just decided to move on to the next location as you can see. Now these elemental earth are also really good for other than just selling on the auction house of course. If you are melee you could use them for the elemental sharpening stones you use in raids. And uh, of course uh, later on they will also be sold for the uh, greater nature protection pots. In the AQ phase they are gonna skyrocket in price I can guarantee you so better farm them now than pay I don't know 6-7 gold each elemental earth. Uh, at that at that time and of course there's also the uh, rest of pots that you need in uh, raid as well that can remove the magic and curses and all kinds of uh, debuffs you gotta use so yeah um, I like to farm this uh, spot and uh, I like to farm for these cuz uh, first of all it's chill and you can make probably at least 50 gold power uh, I would say maybe 40 50 gold but yeah and, and they have a great use later on in the game as well, so better farm them now than farm them later because before you know it, this, this place will be so contested that it's not even worth it anymore. So yeah, get your elemental earth while you can. Now I'm pretty sure that this farm works best if you can AoE like a mage can, like all other farms. But everyone can do this, um, probably not in the same pace as a mage can, I don't know about that. But the, the good thing about the mage is he can 
pull so many mobs and kill at the same time, whereas, uh, for example, the warrior is struggling a bit more. But still, this farm is suited for every class in the game, so no matter what class you are, you can come here and you can you can get your elemental earth easily. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it's super, super easy. All you do is just run back and forth between two of the uh, spots I showed earlier in the video in, on the map. And, and you can just basically free farm and get a lot of elemental earth in almost no time. I think I got the first four elemental earth in like 10 minutes or something like that. And if I just continue to stay at this certain, uh, certain place right here in Badlands, I would probably have made probably 20 uh, in one hour but i decided later on to move to arathi highland to try out that spot as well but i'll show that later in the video now these maps are also made for quests that means that there can both be alliance and horde players here doing the quest so uh, you have to have that in mind when uh, when you're here and of course what you decide to do with these certain players is totally up to you but as you saw earlier I, i'm not gonna let them take my mobs now if there's too many people here or it's impossible to to get any mobs you can always move to to the arathi highlands and as you can see here, we are at this spot here, at the Earth Elementals. This spot, I have never seen anyone else here, but this one bot, all he do is just botting this place, and I understand why, because this is a really, really good gold power. But yeah, this is another, this is another spot you can go to if, uh, if the other places are too contested. So yeah, I wish you luck, and thank you for watching my video. Uh, remember to subscribe and comment and like and all that jazz if you like the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.